So I'm back at Mefe and four to five weeks ago, this place was seriously, this is the level of the water back then. For those of you who were watching GTV, you would have seen Alan and the, the man Kralo in a canoe moving around. So they were in a canoe where the water was this high. This is almost six feet of serious damage. The spillage is have ended and now the military is trying to suck the water out of this place but just standing here and looking at the level it's just it's crazy a lot of damage has been done here I was just speaking to a lady who said she bought some fish in uh, when she went to Accra to go and buy some fish on Monday Tuesday destruction all her fish condemned the homes totally flooded nobody took anything out of their houses before the water came through. And you can just see the level of the, the damage. I mean, if, if you were in this room when the water came, you were gonna die. It's a miracle that there are no reported deaths, but this is serious. I don't know when the water will come down. The pump is working hard. Uh, the chickens are looking for something to eat. But this is serious destruction. So this was a road that took you to St. Kizito. And it is still flooded out. People's homes destroyed. For those of you who are saying, oh, the people in Mefe, they are receiving too much. The donations, most of the donations are going to them. Please look around and see whether they have received too much. When your house has been destroyed, what is used clothing and water going to do for you? I mean, it's ridiculous. It's, it's just tragic. And if the case for resettlement had to be made, I don't think you'll have a stronger case than this. These are people's homes, oh, and you have almost six feet of water that entered their homes for four to five weeks continuously. Yes, the spillage has ended, but the water levels are still here. And you know when water stands, you're looking at mosquitoes, you're looking at waterborne diseases, you're looking at issues of sanitation. It's a really sad situation. This looks like just a... I have no words, man. No words. So, uh, I want to have a chat with my friend here. My brother, how are you? I'm fine. Bro. Okay, so, tell us your name. My name is Nkokwaizi, popularly known as Accra Boy from Mepe North Town. Accra Boy? Yeah. All right. Um, what, do you, what, do you, what, what do you make of all this? I wait to, we are in the town, like, almost one month now, we are in the, the our area is Roman down. Up to near Sekizito, then at least nine o'clock that way at evening time, then the water came. Then they say I was near that the water came from uh, this thing uh, uh, across some book. We are not understand then our things all gone. So we are in the town. If like GTV and then different media, they are not bringing any food. Then you can't eat for the town. Our farm to destroy. So we are in the town like. Uh, I don't know what I will say because we are not we are not happy at all. Our teeth all destroyed. VRA is claiming that they they, they warned you you the residents before they opened the 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 the, 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 the water to flow through. I mean, did you get any warning? Did you know that this water was coming? No, 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 no. Because uh, they bought me on this town. So right now, when they 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 are telling us that they told us that water we we will be here before like we be leaving. Then they will give her another place before the water come. Our boss, am I like? Yeah, you make a good point. They should yes. give you a place. A place before the water come. Then we'll be there. Then we, this thing will not happen to us. Everybody will come out with her things or her food that he having in the room. They will, then there's no new problem. But when they are now the thing happy, the bed they are going to start on media saying that they told us that we should leave. Then it's a they are lying. Let's tell, let's let's talk the truth on this land. So let's stop that thing that they are saying that they told us we should leave. So they, they are lying, my boss. I will not lie to. They are lying. Uh, they are lying. What is life like on a daily basis when you wake up in the morning? What do you do? Oh, uh, thank you for your question, my boss, for GTV. Uh, I, I will tell you that the place that we are sleeping now is the school. We have uh, four caps: uh, Saint Kizito, RCGSS. Mm -hmm. LA, 
and then press B GSS. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> uh, when we wake up, you just sit down because our farm all destroyed because of the, the, the water. So we are not getting anything to, to do. So it will just, when you wake up there, you just play, then you just sit it down. That is all. What are you doing in terms of food? Oh, food there. I will not talk about the food matter. Our problem now is, right now the water is going small, small. I want to beg you, GTV people, that you should tell the government that you should come to our aid. Because it's not the rainfall we destroy our house. Because of the VRA, there are, there are bad things that they did. When that thing happened, so they should come to our area to build our build for us. Those people are big collapse. That is our problem. When we to get the place that you sleep, you to when you wake up, then you go to do your job, you get your daily bread. That is all. So now we, my father is, is, is begging food to eat. It's, it's not fair because of the some somebody ignorant or I don't know what I will. I'll, I'll make it. So it's, it's bad, my boss. It's bad. It's very, very bad. Talk to me about the businesses, the farms, the businesses that have been destroyed. Mm. What are you expecting from the government? Uh, right now, uh, the place that I will sleep first, that's, that's my first point. Uh, Currently, where do you sleep? I, I was sleeping in Holy Christ. Is that one of the, the camps? Yes, yeah, one of the camps. How many people are in that camp? Uh, we are in there like 85. When you come to Kizito, there are many. And then the RCJs too, there are many. But your place is 85? 85. Do you have toilet facilities? Yeah, they brought uh, that. Uh, the mobile toilet? The mobile toilet. Okay. They bring that mobile okay. toilet. Okay. So okay. that one there, I can say that the government did work for that area. So there's no problem there. You have water for, for, for bathing? Bathy there, no. But pure water, because of you people, uh, GTV people, you bring the water so that uh, pure water there. I, I would say that is we have more. You have more. So so how do you guys bath? Mm, that's our problem now. That's our problem. That's our problem. Bathing is difficult to us. So sometimes when the pure water some remain, then we take some, then we manage it. Um, our men we don't have problem too much like the woman. So that's our major problem. So I will pay the GTV people. You are know the nation know you GTV people. You can do something. Always you be doing it. So I know uh, today when I'm talking to you people from Mafia, I know say you people you do it. So uh, I know, I know. Uh, so our business there now, if you can't, there are no business, no business at all. Everybody wake up then, you just pay then we are we are, we are roaming about. That is all. The energy minister recently said that if they hadn't opened the spillways at the dam, that the Akosobo Dam would have been destroyed and it would have affected maybe millions of people. What do you think about that? Uh, because me, I'm not an engineer or I'm not working at uh, the dam. So those people are working there when they are saying that when they don't open the water, then the, the dam will destroy. Ah, it's their all, their all cup of, their cup, their all cup of tea. <laughs> so, me, I'm not, uh, uh, I'm not working at the, uh, the distance, the dam. The dam. Mm -hmm. So, there is their problem. So, we, we get our problem already. So, now... Who, who do you hold responsible for this damage? Who do you hold responsible? I think it's uh, uh, these people, uh, VRA. Mm. They don't, they, don't, they, don't, they don't do their work well. They know say they are going to open that water. They should come to us. That's our problem. Then we leave. You to take your tea, then you move. Where would you have gone if they had come to you early? Where would you have gone? Right now, mm. I have family at a farm place, Ashiama. I can move there. You see, here, here, from, here to Accra is two hours or three hours. I would, like, I would be in, in your... your my, my, uh, at, at, at Accra. Mm -hmm. But they did so we were, the, the, the thing is difficult. It's difficult, my boss. It's difficult. They so the lack of warning, because it, you, you think that if they had warned you, you would have taken your things, you'd have made your move before. Yes, it's, it's true. Right now, when I'm working at, I came to your, your studio right now, then you tell me that, oh, Accra boy, when it's five, uh, three minutes to four, you'll be leaving. Ah, what if I will not leave the, the studio for you? It's your job. 
So when they told us that they, they are going to open the water, so we should, my people should move. Ah, we move. <laughs> we don't uh, do any, uh, uh, any agreement with them. So we can we move. Shortly. The Minister of Sanitation and Water Resources said, they told you, and you, you, didn't, you didn't move. So now the water has come, you are responsible. I mean, that's, that's the essence of what she said. What do you think about that? Uh, my boss, I know you a long time ago. When I'm watching GTV, I was seeing you. Me, the people know me for North Town here. It's not my hello. North Town, they know me. Accra boy. Accra boy, they know me. I don't like lying. Lying. Lying is, is that, that, that one thing that I hate in my life. That is why I'm not, pro, I'm not getting anything in, in this, 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 this earth. Because I, I don't like lying. Always I like the place that is, is truth. If it's truth, you pass the neat. Why, why before they would told us we will be here? <laughs> huh? So you never had any any announcement on the radio, any uh, information services van telling you that Mido, 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 Echiagbona, the water is coming, Echiagbona, Miputu Afia. They didn't, you didn't hear anything like that. Honorable, I didn't hear anything. We are watching. We have light in this town. We are watching GTV. When we when we are going to do something, why before you not go to media? Media is powerful. <laughs> huh? Ah. This thing when we are going to tell uh, uh, we call something uh, Devi. A child. A uh, child, like six years old. You don't understand this. We have media in Ghana. We have uh, you can Google something. You see this? Internet, radio, radio. TV. Huh? You can go G GBC. It's our own nation. This thing. Oh, this uh, GTV. Go and tell me. Uh, ask me. Ask to. I put the thing on the paper or announce that uh, the uh, Mepa people should leave or voter region, they should leave. Everybody hear that, oh, they told, they told us that you should leave. Be because of our ingredient, we didn't leave. Mm -hmm. This thing happened. Then we'll be here, then we all will die, then that is all. But they didn't tell us anything. We have more radio in voter region. We are watching TV, <laughs> <laughs> the best TV in Ghana, GTV. We didn't hear anything from there. Our people too are working for them. If you like, if it's the language that we didn't hear, maybe you can't speak the English. <laughs> then they should tell. They go to Grenbe, or Echigbo, Miyajo. What time is coming? Go. Go, Miyajo. And Kake Misio. Misio. You didn't hear it. We didn't hear anything. And you don't have to ask me about it. You don't have to ask me So you hold VR fully responsible? Oh, if you saw VR people from here right now, I, I, will, not, I will tell them something. I will oh. not fight for them, but I will tell them something. What will you tell them? Oh, because of we are in media, so uh, you are my boss. So I don't want to tell that. I want. I don't want to tell that. Mm -hmm. When, but when I saw them face to face for here, mm -hmm. I will tell them something. Ha, are you hopeful that things will get better? I'm not sure because right now our things all destroyed. If I take you right now and turn my my uncle house here, you, you you cry. I will not lie to you. You cry because right now the building to did it gain a weight. Like the first, mm. because this building, they built that before they bought me. So right now, I may ask, how old are you now? Oh, right now I'm in 37. Okay, it's an old, it's an old building. Yes, mm. it's an old building. Mm. The the man that built this building is his name is Sopla. He came from Angwa. Sopla. Mm. They they came from Angwa before they come ma he come marry from from here. So this has is not uh, this. Uh, it, it keep, it's so you are afraid that the water will, is, can make the houses collapse? Is that what you are afraid? Because yes. of the water that has been under for three, four weeks? Yes, it's true. Mm. Mm. Right now, the thing is one month now. Mm. Uh, one month now. This water didn't finish from... So I'm afraid. So I don't... I don't, I don't, I don't have hope. The military is trying to pump the water out. Do you, do you have hope that it will go? Oh, I came here this morning like 10.30 that way. The water is here before I came. Mm -hmm. So it's going. It's going. Okay. So they are, they are, they are, doing, they are doing their best. Okay. Uh, All right. When you, you GTV people are here, uh, now I, I was, I was really happy <laughs> because uh, I know you people. I know what you, you people can do. <laughs> yes. So I just like that you people came from Accra to North Town. I just love you people. And we love you too. Mm. Look into the camera and give us your final message in English or in, in uh, mm. take it away, Accra boy. Ganato. Oh, Madak Panemi, Miena Nevi, Miotori of the Akrabo and Mukok Isaac, Tomo Fanyaki, Miokata Minya, Motomo Fog Bambia, GTV to over Miokbog, Yola Bajakan, or Jofia, 
Jinda kain ke GTV all the best ma ti be mi no le le mi anu ni o ka ta le jojo legi e po nchon de me ko legi e o le se ha yo o ja agba legi o ma du no o ko do me ko le do mi e fe Ghana du kwa e le fe vena mi an le GTV mi o to mi mi o station mi ga le bubu aleke ya ba non bubu omo apo ne Ghana to ka ta ami o ka ta le pepe le mi en ti le ndudu anyi mo fe pri to to wa GTV ma o ne irami pre mi o ka ta le nunade ne jileji e wo maga vole mi owo zemo na jile jine mi ti fe nwe mi hen na konya gi e mi amlo skuvi ofu mo mi de kuku na gana to mi pele mi enti enye la nya tefa me hen na matres mi ki sro nya mi amlo ji me nya skudes matres o matres de kafe ye ku me hen na mi amlo ji me nya be gtv era amle la yue nya boss mi ke mi pe mi chat tra agbe na bi o akra boy o matres eva eh wa yo ma va pe me da pe na gana to kra mo ka tala brochi kwa Watch GTV, the best TV station in Ghana. I love you. Mwah. Mwah to you as well, Akra boy. You're the best. And for those of you who don't speak ever, he was basically saying that he's worried because now the school year has opened and a lot of the schools are being used as camps. So he's going to have a problem uh, keeping the displaced people on the same campuses as students who are also coming back to school. So they need real help to have themselves look, uh, relocated. And... Uh, where to sleep and uh, a shelter, a roof above their head for him and his, his wife, that is his concern. And so we are still looking out for support for the people of Mepe. Uh, don't sit somewhere and say, oh, Mepe people have had too much. They've lost a lot and they are still looking for support. So mattresses, uh, a place to stay, um, food, clothing, uh, water, you know it. It's GTV Cares and we care for the people of Mepe. Thank you very much. Uh, this is Kafri Day reporting from Mepe, where the water is being sucked out um, of the road, which was turned into a canal. And shout out to the military, you're doing a great job. And let's keep supporting and helping our brothers and sisters. God bless.